taking advantage of when your opponent hits a short ball, meaning a ball that lands in front of the service line, is vital to winning more singles matches and really raising your level of play. So let's just illustrate this. Let's say this is you, you're serving, your opponent who returns hits a return that lands in front of the service line. Here's your opportunity. Now, here's a, a concept you wanna etch in stone in your mind. When your opponent hits a ball that lands in front of the service line, do not let their ball cross the baseline. Don't hang back and wait for that ball to get to you. When the ball lands in front of the service line, and even before it lands, you can see that it's going to land in front of the service line. You need to move forward, step inside the court, and take that ball early because it's gonna rob them of the time they need in order to either recover back to the center or even react to the shot that you hit. Now, if it's right off of a return, then it's a great idea to just hit the ball into the open court, especially if they're right-handed and that's their backhand. It's just a perfect play. So when you hit a nice deep approach shot into that corner and they're stretched out, you have to make sure that you don't then squander that opportunity and let them off the hook. You stepped inside the court for a reason. You hit it into the open court hard for a reason. If, it's the, if they're right-handed, it's their backhand side, and you did it for a reason. So make sure that you go forward on that ball. Now, here's a, a, a moment in time in singles where I see a lot of pros make a mistake, so let alone college and amateur players, right? So they'll get a weak ball that comes back to them because they did everything right. Right? They, they took advantage of the short ball. They attacked and went into the open court. They're coming forward and now they've got this volley where they absolutely need to end the point, but they make a mistake. And that mistake is they make the ball leave the court using the baseline. When you are coming forward, especially with a high volley and it's your moment to shine and it's your time to win that point, do not make your ball leave the court using the baseline. Doing so is too close to the opponent and they'll easily get, maybe not easily, but they will get to that ball more often than not. So what you actually wanna do is try to take speed off the ball. Don't hit it hard, which makes you wanna hit deep. He takes speed off, take it nice and easy, and you wanna angle it off the court and make the ball leave the court using the sideline. Remember, your opponent was here. Do you think they wanna run this ball down or do they wanna run this ball down? <laughs> of course they want you to hit it where the ball crosses the baseline. So I want you to watch this point, high level singles, you know, in college. And I want you to watch, I'll let it play maybe three times in a row. It's this exact scenario. And even though it's so simple, it can be run over and over and over again, because think about how often your opponent makes the ball land in front of the service line. So watch this point a few times and I'll meet you back here. Now in that scenario, the server was at the top of the screen, but it was so simple. He served, the returner hit it short. This player moved in, as this player recovered, he really had to be afraid of a ball going behind him, but this player hit it super deep into that corner. The returner flailed with a backhand. He came forward and split stepped. The weak ball came in and here was my actual favorite part of that point. He, the volleyer made it land in the service box and the ball left the court using the sideline. You want to understand these simple plays and strategies. And when you have these etched in your mind, it demystifies what singles actually is. And it's just repeating plays that work over and over again to raise your level of play. Now, I wanna share something with you that is absolutely awesome. My buddy Will Hamilton over at Fuzzy Yellow Balls has the singles playbook, right? So this is play after play, where it's literally drawn up like this, where you actually get each play, here's how to beat a serve and volleyer, how to beat a pusher, how to beat an aggressive baseliner. It's simple plays, and the coolest thing is, on each page, he's got the QR code, so with your phone and the photo, you know, the, the, the camera 
app on your phone. You just hover it over the QR code and a two, three minute video you know, shows up and there's Will drawing up this play. And you can just over and over again run these plays based on the opponent who you are playing against. All you gotta do to pick up this singles playbook, if you absolutely love strategy and you finally wanna start beating opponents who you currently can't beat, just use my link in the description and I will also put it in the first comment. And this is just an absolute gold mine of information. The players who he has learned this from, from Craig O'Shaughnessy to the Bryan brothers to um, Gigi Fernandez to uh, Martina Navratilova to Patrick Rafter. It's incredible the knowledge that he has gained from the greats of the greats in tennis history and he's giving it to you in the singles playbook. Now, I'd be remiss to not share with you how you can also play more tennis because learning all these strategies is great, but if you want to find new people in your local area to compete against, practice with, or even find a coach who can help you work on strategies like this and the ones that you're going to find in the singles playbook, then use my link also in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis to get 50% off when you join their unbelievable community. It's so simple. Let's say this is you. Your opponent hits a ball that lands in front of the service line. Right then and there, you know you are attacking. You're stepping inside the court. You're going to rob your opponent of time because you moved forward, so it's a shorter distance, so now they're not going to have as easy of a shot. You're going to hit an approach shot that lands deep. You're going to come in, and when they float that ball back, make the ball leave the court using the sideline. You run this play and this strategy over and over again, and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this!